Welcome to the spoken tutorial on file handling in Perl. In this tutorial, we will learn how to open a file in read mode, write to a file, open a file in append mode and close the file handle. For this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 operating system, Perl 5.14.2 and the gedit text editor. You can use any text editor of your choice. To follow this tutorial, you should have working knowledge of Perl programming. If not, then go through the relevant Perl spoken tutorials on the spoken tutorial website. The basic operations we can do with files in Perl are open a file, read from a file, write to a file and close a file. The default file handles are stdin, stdout and stderr. This is the syntax for open function. In the syntax, file handle is a file handle written by the open function. Mode represents a mode of opening the file. For example, read, write, etc. expr is a physical file name used to read or write. In this case, fast.txt is a file name. There is another way to write the open function as shown here. Let us understand how to open an existing file and read the data from it. First, we will create a text file and store some data in it. Go to the terminal and type gedit fast.txt and press enter. In the fast.txt file, type the following text. Save the file and close gedit. Now, we will look at a Perl program that opens the file fast.txt and reads the content. Let me open the sample program openfile.pl which I have already saved. Type gedit openfile.pl ampersand and press enter. In the openfile.pl type the following code as displayed on the screen. Let us understand the code now. The open function opens a file for reading. The first parameter, data is a file handle which allows Perl to refer to the file in future. The second parameter less than symbol denotes the read mode. If you fail to specify the mode, by default, the file will be open in read mode. The third parameter, first.txt is a file name from where the data has to be read. What will happen if the file first.txt does not exist? The script will die with the appropriate error message stored in the dollar exclamation variable. The while loop will read line by line and loop through the data file until all the lines have been read. Print dollar underscore variable will print the contents of the current line. Lastly, close the file with the file handle name which we had given in the open statement. Closing a file prevents any accidental file changes or overwriting of the content. Now press Ctrl S to save the file. Let us execute the program. Switch back to the terminal and type perl openfile.pl and press enter. The output is displayed as shown. This is the same content that we saw earlier in fast.txt file. Next. We will see how to write data into a file. The open statement with greater than symbol defines the write mode. File name represents the name of the file where the data has to be written. Let me open the sample program writefile.pl which I have already saved. Switch to the terminal. Now type gedit writefile.pl ampersand and press enter. In the writefile.pl file, type the following code as displayed on the screen. Let me explain the code now. The open function opens a file second.txt in write mode. Greater than symbol before the file name denotes the write mode. The first parameter file1 is a file handle. The print function prints a given text to file handle file1. Now press Ctrl S 
to save the file. Let us execute the program. Switch back to the terminal and type perl writefile.pl and press enter. Now, let us check whether the text has been written in second.txt file. Type gedit second.txt and press enter. We can see the text. Working with files makes data storage and retrieval a simple task in our second.txt file. Let us close the second.txt file. What will happen if you open the same file again in write mode? Let us see that. In the write file.pl, command the previous print statement. Add the below print command. Now, press Ctrl S to save the file. Let us execute the program. Switch back to the terminal and type perl write file.pl and press enter. Now, let us check the second.txt file once again. Type gedit second.txt and press enter. We can see the output greater than symbol overrides the content of the file. The previous content of the second.txt file has been overwritten. This is because we had opened the file in the write mode again. Let us close the second.txt file. Next, we will see how to append data to an existing file. The open statement with two greater than symbol denotes the append mode. Now, I will open the write file.pl again in gedit. In the open statement, type two greater than symbols. This will denote that the file is in append mode. Command the previous print statement as it is already executed. Add the line print file1 within double quotes to greater than symbol opens the file in append mode to append to the existing data. Now press Ctrl S to save the file. Let us execute the program. Switch back to the terminal and type perl write file.pl and press enter. Now let us check whether the text has been appended to the second.txt file. Type gedit second.txt and press enter. We can see the text has been appended in our second.txt file. Let us close the second.txt file. Similarly, there are other modes also. Try out these options on your own and understand what happens. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned to open a file in read mode, write to a file, open a file in append mode, and close the file handle. Here is an assignment for you. Change the file attribute to plus greater than in the write file.pl program. Save and execute the program. Open the second.txt file to see the output. Analyze the usage of file attribute plus greater than symbol. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial project is funded by NME ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Nirmala Venkat from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.